So I want to follow up on a previous video. You can see at the link on the end where I had a oil leak in my old uh, home heating oil tank. And if you look at my previous video again, which I'll link at the end, I had about two, maybe three gallons. Luckily I caught it in time and it spread from the tank to the furnace. Um, and environmental services had to come in here and, and clean up the mess and they cleaned it up very well and got the smell and everything out of the concrete. Um, however, um, I didn't want them removing the walls. I thought the smell might dissipate, but some of the two by fours and the paneling absorbed the home heating oil on either side of the furnace like a sponge. And every time I come in the house at night, it still smells upstairs. Um, since then I've had the tank replaced and I had to bring it up to code and go through the foundation and replace the uh, fill pipe and the vent. So all that's done, it cost me all together with the cleanup around six grand. So that was an unexpected and unwanted uh, fiasco. Um, so I researched a long time what things I could do to clean the smell up without removing the wall. And for some reason it took me weeks to stumble upon this company and this product uh, from Oil Solutions and Kevin was kind enough to help me online and uh, help me with my order. And it's a two-step process. Uh, the first step, uh, you spray on the area or, 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 or pour on the area or whatever and in equal parts you then add after a period step two which then absorbs the step one. Uh, so step one essentially deactivates the fuel oil and many other items and uh, step two then absorbs step one into a powdery like substance which you can clean up later. So he suggested I try it at 24 hour periods until the smell goes away. It's supposed to work on concrete, wood, and just about every other surface. So I figured I'd give it a shot for 50 bucks rather than um, rip out the wall and we'll see if that helps. I also have a small area on the opposite side of the wall that I'm not sure uh, the smell came out of so I'm gonna use it there as well. I'm struggling with how to apply it right now, whether to pour it into these spray bottles and put it on. Uh, there is one warning that says do not mix the two products in advance, so I can't use the same spray bottle. Um, so I got to figure out a way whether to brush it or, or something. So that's my struggle right now. So I'm going to um, I'm going to think on this a second, and then I'll follow up shortly with uh, my application to see if the smell is dissipating. Okay, for step one, I decided I would spray. And it really stinks down here. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but I'm gonna start with this area that's visible. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna soak it liberally to get under the two by four. Apologize for the. I'm going to reach over and smell it now. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, it's really hard to tell. This stuff has an odor. Um, it's getting on my hands, which is probably not the best. Again, I'm going to spray it liberally, and fortunately, there's a little space under the 2x4. Now there seems to be, there seems to be something kind of coming off. I don't know if that's just old wood color or what, but I have a feeling it's reacting. And um, let me just keep going here. Some areas are hard to get to. So I'm not gonna go crazy now showing you every aspect of what I'm, where the areas are I'm spraying, but this is the part one solution. And the part two I decided I'm going to um, brush on out of a cup with an actual brush. So um, let me finish this area. I got a gallon each of this stuff.
Hope my spray bottle doesn't fail me. Oh boy, it's already broken. What a shit show. What is this? All right, let me pause. So I've sprayed the area really good. I saturated it. Um, both on this side and on the opposite side, although not as much. And I don't know how I'm going to get back there with the brush, but the uh, squirt bottle got that pretty good. And same over here. So now I'm going to brush on the part two. Um, and let's see what it looks like. Maybe I should have let it soak longer, but I can always get a second application. So let me just try brushing this on. Again, quite liberally. It says equal parts, which is kind of hard to be sure of when you're spraying and brushing. Let me just do this area. And I don't know if there's anything to see. It has a little ammonia smell. So I don't know, not like you're gonna see a react, it's, it's not like it's a, a metal surface where um, you can see the red oil turn clear and you know you're satisfied. Um, but, so there's not much to see here, but what I'm gonna do is finish the rest with the part two, let it sit overnight, and see if I come home later and the smell's gone. So just to finish up this video, if I bend over on my hands and knees and smell, I no longer smell the fuel oil. Um, there is an odor. I wouldn't say it's off puttish or anything. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, you can't see it. But the pooling is kind of almost gelling. It's not turning into a white dust as they saw in the instructional video. Um, maybe because I saturated it so much. But we're going to let this sit overnight. I'll come down here tomorrow and see what cleaning up needs to be done. And hopefully my uh, wall won't disintegrate and whatever. We'll see. All right. Uh, I'll follow up in the description below with an update as to how my house smells when I get home tomorrow, 24 hours or so from now. So um, I hope this works and uh, let's, let's hope that oil solutions help me out.